Next, we have a report from TV Tokyo's World Business Satellite. Take a look. World Heritage Site, Himeji Castle. Starting this April, a new type of bus took to the streets of this castle town. It will be introduced by this bus company, which operates about 700 buses, primarily in Hyogo Prefecture. The first of its kind in Western Japan. It's a fuel cell bus running on hydrogen. Is it switched on? Yes, it's already running. It moves surprisingly fast. It's hard to keep up with. It's powered not by an engine, but by electricity generated from fuel cells. There's hardly any vibration or noise. It's quiet and doesn't vibrate. It's apparently the first in Western Japan. Really? This will definitely be a topic of conversation. The introduction of the hydrogen bus was a fervent wish of the operator. Buses long ago let out black smoke and were seen as bad for the environment. We can't survive unless we do something about it. The hydrogen mixes with oxygen in the air, causing a chemical reaction and generating energy, with water being the only emission. It's being called the ultimate form of energy. While it's seen as the key to decarbonization, there are actually big obstacles in developing methods to produce that hydrogen. The question appears to be whether hydrogen is truly environmentally friendly. In regards to that, there are discussions primarily in the EU about hydrogen sources. For example, even if hydrogen is clean, if fossil fuels are being used in the manufacturing process, then CO2 is being emitted. Under current manufacturing methods, hydrogen is produced by extracting it from fossil fuels. A big issue is that a large amount of CO2 is being produced in the process. It requires international discussions. What will be crucial is preventing the release of CO2 into the atmosphere. To directly address that issue, a certain world-class facility was opened last year. The Fukushima Hydrogen Energy Research Field. A nationwide effort, it was jointly constructed by NATO, the New Energy and Industrial Technology Development Organization, and companies such as Iwatani Corporation. Solar panels spanning an area of nearly 200,000 square meters. And at the center of the facility is this hydrogen manufacturing equipment. Carried out here is the production of vast amounts of hydrogen using renewable energy. With solar generated electricity, water is electrolyzed to separate hydrogen and oxygen. By using electricity generated from renewable energy to make hydrogen, we can reduce emissions of carbon dioxide during the manufacturing process. Hydrogen produced from fossil fuels is referred to as gray hydrogen. It's differentiated from green hydrogen, which is made without CO2 emissions in the manufacturing process. This green hydrogen is generating interest as a solution to overcoming the obstacles to decarbonization. We're aiming to develop technologies to establish an energy system that's CO2-free as a whole. Japan has world-class technologies in this field, and countries around the world have expressed strong interest in what's happening here. As competition to develop clean hydrogen heats up around the world, new technologies are starting to emerge from regional companies. All High Tech is a firm with just seven employees. It's an entrepreneurial venture set up in 2013. This device was developed in collaboration with Toyota Motor. 
Mr. Mizuki says the device produces hydrogen using a certain type of material originating from Toyota's factories. He shows it to us. This is aluminum. We use aluminum scrap from factories to manufacture hydrogen. Aluminum scrap is left over after engines and other components are molded at Toyota's factories. Combined with a special liquid in this container developed by All High Tech, a chemical reaction is generated to create hydrogen. I'm sure everyone has seen an experiment like this in science class. You can think of it as an application of that. This is an experiment to cause a chemical reaction between aluminum and sodium hydroxide. He says the same principle is applied. This reaction liquid is at the heart of Alhyde Tech. It can be used a hundred times. As the newly developed reaction liquid can be used numerous times, the cost of hydrogen production can be reduced. What's more, as hydrogen is manufactured from aluminum scrap, no new CO2 emissions are released. There's also a big environmental benefit. The lids of instant noodle containers are made of aluminum. The amount of this type of waste is actually quite significant. They've also developed a device to extract only aluminum from household waste. The company plans to begin selling a small device to manufacture hydrogen from recycled aluminum in October. This is the sound of hydrogen actually being generated. Aluminum waste is turned into electrical energy. As hydrogen needs to be compressed to be transported in large volumes and supply equipment is costly, widespread adoption is seen to take time. So Mr. Mizuki is working on a plan to set up hydrogen manufacturing equipment at key sites across cities. Transported is not hydrogen, but light and less cumbersome aluminum. He envisions an aluminum hydrogen society using hydrogen generated from aluminum to supply electricity to schools and fill up fuel cell vehicles at hydrogen stations. Moves underway now to promote a hydrogen-based society face the problems of storage and transport. By solving these issues, I believe a hydrogen society can become a reality. The governor of Toyama Prefecture, where All High Tech is based. We see this as a technology that can contribute not only to the people of Toyama, but also across Japan and the world. We want to cheer on entrepreneurial ventures like this in Toyama.